is Zane, and you're watching Read What You Sow Gardening. And sorry if there's a little echo. I'm in my little sister's room because, you know, my room has pictures all over the wall because I put, like, a lot of drawings on the wall and so all that stuff. So can't, I can't really put this up because you're going to see my homemade play buttons and all that stuff in the background. So just going to point you through the picture because this is <laughs> so many excuses. But we're going to be talking about electroculture and what is it like our science says so let me go ahead and set the light so i don't blind myself with this lamp i don't want to blind myself i don't want to do that then i can't make a video if i blind myself then i can't make a video so that's even worse <laughs> i guess we'll just do this yeah that's fine but we're going to be talking about what's your culture. So, shout out to Mr. Mickey from, I almost said Deep South, I said, Mr. Mickey from uh, Hills Mills Homestead and Deep South Homestead. Shout out to them too. Um, they do electric culture. I'm not sure about other people, but I don't really watch other people. I just watch Deep South and Hills Mills. So, here is a. Copper coil, and if we're wondering, because Mr. Mickey actually has, he actually sells copper coils, but no, it's not his. I made this out of a Time Warner cable or Direct TV, Direct TV um, cable coaxial wire. And so I stripped it, the sheathing and all that, the rubber. Um, and then I just got this, I tightly round, wound it around the stick and slid it off and just stuck it in a pot so here i'm showing it to you so let's learn about them real quick so what your culture is what is it this part up here or upside down wherever, wherever you want to call it this one is the what is that this is the antenna and this is the discharge to the roots so it says involving tomato cages you yes you can wire them to a tomato cage and they, these coils have to be copper. If they're anything else, they are not going to work. So trust me, I've never did that before, but Deep South Home says, says oh, for anything else, and it can work so. Yeah. And it's the new root to promote the new root, new plant growth. And, you know, electronics is not really electronics because there's no circuit board, no remotes, no key fobs, no nothing like that. It's just an old-fashioned copper wire shoved in the ground, get a good crop. Um, so you see how I, usually the norm, how I do it is, you know, maybe a thumb's length to the, my thumb to the first knuckle of the thumb, or the first indention. That's the length of both sides, the discharge and the antenna. That's what you want. And I have one, two, three, four coil wounds. So, four times. So, that's the norm how I do it. So, you never want to do it like this on its bottom like that. Because it's not going to work. Or you don't want to bend both ends and just shove them in the ground. Because this is not a capacitor for an AC unit. <laughs> right? This is not a capacitor for an old Linux AC unit. This is a copper wire. Well, you shove it in the ground and it promotes new root growth. And it's going to have to go like this. A little bit underneath the roots, but there could be panning roots around. So it's fine if you shove it between both and it will grow. So electrical stuff. Also, what's it called? Electrical sure. Or is it um the other thing? What's it called? Thunder, thunder, lightning, lightning, something with lightning and thunder. Also works. I don't know if that is a electric culture. I forgot, but it could be. When the thunder and stuff, it does promote plant growth. That's why our kale is growing as amazing. We we harvest the kale. We use like this big. I mean, tell me that isn't because of God and how He made the thunder. You know, it's the thunder, it's the electroculture. There is no electroculture for our kale. I don't really put it around our leafy greens 
But you can, you can do it with anything. I wouldn't recommend the trees because you probably have to have a Duke Energy wire coiled around for a, a fully grown tree, fruit tree. You know, but sometimes power wires for homes, sometimes they're not copper, though. So sometimes they're aluminum, zinc, steel, all different types of stuff. So this wire in the ground and electricity flows to it, it coils. And it just goes in to photosynthesize the plants and all this stuff. It could be a little confusing, but the way you connect the two of tomato cages, you get the tomato cage, one of the legs of the tomato cage, what's in the ground, you lightly wrap it around the cage and it'll do good. It I we've had we've had some <laughs> we have we are having really good success. With our Cherokee Purple Tomato and the Tomato Cage, it is actually promoting new plant growth of uh, this much already. Not even a week of, you know, building these things. And if you want to get your hands on these, go to Goodwill. Or if you see someone in your neighborhood like Cox, uh, Direct, Direct TV, Time Warner Cable. I know they're called Spectrum now. Yeah, I'm kind of a boomer. Um... Xfinity, just ask them, hey, do you have any old copper wire? You can strip it. How I strip it, I take my garden shears, and um, I'll probably make a video of it, probably from the day after tomorrow, because I uploaded a lot of videos this week. So, you just strip it and get the copper out. You don't melt it and all that stuff. Like scrap to cast he's, not, he's another YouTuber. Um, so, what you do is, you just strip the cable and the sheathing, which is, it's not, it looks like fiberglass, but it's not, it's aluminum, like, tape around it. And then you just get this, wrap it around a stick, or my tripod pole. If you don't care about scratching it up, it's fine. But, just put it in the ground, water the plants in, in a couple days, watch it grow. And it, yes, it does work, it actually made... A little spaghetti squash appear on a plant out of nowhere. I was like, this thing was not here the other day. Before I put this in the ground, that squash was not on a vine. I don't know where it came from. It's God. So, God does all things, okay? So, it's not hard to believe. These do work. So, some people think it's BS and that... Hey, putting a copper rod in the ground, it ain't gonna do nothing. You put copper rod, ground wire in the soil, it ain't gonna do. It, it does actually do stuff. So, it kind of does deter slugs. I haven't really saw that much slug activity. Um, another benefit. Miss Wanda over at Deep South Homestead says it deters, it deters slugs. Now, I don't know if that's true. And we just don't have enough, a lot of slugs to see anything damage. But before I had these, there were not really any slugs out, under, only underneath the pots. Okay, so I don't know if that's really true. If they're scared of these things, the same thing with the eggshell myth. But there's a lot of myths on gardening. And I just, I just need to make like a 30 or 20 minute video, Zay Talks video. And yes, this is a Zay Talks. This ain't Little Toad or Great Pumpkin Podcast. This is another Zay Talk. So probably every um uh, every so here's what I'm planning on. I upload a regular video, and the day after Zay Talks, upload a video day after Zay Talks. So it's in the pattern. So hopefully that'll work out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share this video around. Make sure you subscribe to Reap What You Sow Gardening. That helps me heaps. Oh, yeah, and if you see any dirt on my shirt, yeah, that's just because I was outside. I said that, like, two times, just to let you know. And this shirt is over, like, four years old. I just had it for four years and it still fits me. I have baby clothes that I was, was like, two years old and they still fit me. Because <laughs> I'm dying. I'm like a, I'm like an elf. So make sure you subscribe and keep on growing. Thank <laughs> you.